If you're a real estate agent and or a mortgage broker, do you really need to be creating your own content? What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Brand You. I'm Mike Cuevas, the real estate marketing dude, and what we're gonna be chatting about on this week's video is going to be creating content. Do you need to be creating content? And if so, first, what is it and how do I create it? Better yet, how much should I be doing? Content is anything that you're creating, whether a video like this, it could be an image, but it is any bit of social post, images, blog posts, anything that you're creating that reminds people about what you do for a living. And being in the real estate business, we have one of the easiest businesses to create content on, and all it takes really is just a little bit of discipline to get started. But here's the reason why you just can't create outsource content. And the truth is, is that you cannot outsource authenticity. And the only one who could ever be you on the content you create is you. If I were going to go ahead and have someone or hire someone to post all of my content for me, my database, my audience pretty much knows that's not me because it feels very boilerplate. See, and a lot of times we just overthink it, but all content creation really is, is a consistent way to create pictures, videos, images, blog posts, any other things that remind our network what we do for a living. The main reason why this is so important is that it's a very, very busy world out there. And if you're not creating content and put it in front of the people you already know, AKA your referral sources, well, I guarantee you that somebody else is. And it's for that reason alone is why we need to create it. When we create content, we're not necessarily looking for a response. I'm not looking to generate a lead or an opt-in type form. What I am looking to do is I'm looking to generate the attention of my database and every single time that they think of the word real estate, mortgage, I want them to think of me. And that is more likely to happen by the more content I create because it's the visual imagery and the content creation that keeps us in relation with the very people that are responsible for the vast majority of business, which are my Facebook friends, Instagram followers, my friends, my family, and my past clients because that's where the vast majority of business comes from. But by creating content, what it also does is it allows other people who you don't have a relationship with yet to get to know exactly sort of who you are and more importantly, how you roll because when someone visits your website or they check you out and they're even thinking about possibly hiring you, they're not visiting there to see what you do. What they are looking there is to see how you do it and that's another way that you can use content. So for example, on my website at Real Estate Marketing Dude, we have a video on the top of every page just about on the website, including the blog post that this video is on. And the reason for that is just to give people another form of communication, but better yet, I want to interact with them. I want people to get an idea off of who I am, how I roll, so that they can make the decision of whether or not we're the right marketing dude for them. If we're not, that's fine, but at least people can get an idea to see it how we do business because that's ultimately what people are thinking in their heads when they're thinking about hiring a real estate agent. The real question they're asking themselves is, do I really trust this dude with the most important financial investment of my entire lifetime? So there was a study done and this is really the top five things that buyers or sellers want from their agents. And when you create content, it sort of addresses and solves all of them. Number one, will I be comfortable working with this individual? Your content creation allows them to see whom you are. Two, is this agent or lender honest? Well, the more content you create, the more that that barrier starts to be removed. Number three, is this agent or lender established in the marketplace? Again, the more content that you create on your website, your feeds, wherever else they may check you out, the more it shows that you've been in business, you're established, and again, you can trust me. Number four, does this individual have the experience that I need to make the right decision for me? Well, let's put it this way. I'm not a chef, but if I created seven videos pretending I'm a chef, wearing an apron and a hat, cooking tacos, you would think I'm a chef. Why? Because of content. Number five, does this agent or lender have the knowledge I need to properly represent me? Again, if I was shooting a bunch of videos of me cooking tacos, you would think I'm a chef and that I have the knowledge, but Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. That is the power of content creation. You see, when you start creating your own content consistently, what happens is it addresses all of these reservations that buyers or sellers have about working with people and it makes it a lot more approachable and more importantly, your brand more marketable. So the bottom line answer to today's question is, do you need to create your own real estate content? Yes, you do. 
Thanks for watching another episode of Brand New. I'm Mike Cuevas, the real estate marketing dude. If there's anything we could ever do for you, we'd love to speak with you. We help people script, edit, and distribute their videos around the country. In other words, we create that content for you and we make it really fucking simple. If you're interested to see what our services look like, we'd love to speak with you and you can click the link somewhere next to this video and access our website where everything will be explained step by step. But thank you so much for watching another episode of Real Estate Marketing Dude's brand new series. I really hope you take the information here and start creating content. The more content you create, the more popular and marketable you become. And that's ultimately how you attract business. Thanks for watching another week's episode. We'll see you in the next week's episode. Peace!